Yeah, if you're new to the channel, you guys should probably subscribe down. I have my voice changer on. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys should probably subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the daily uh, news and the videos and all the bull crap that we do here. I want to swear really bad, but I kind of want to see if this video gets monetized, so I didn't. Uh, I told you the other day, and a lot of people may have told you the other day, about how on Rotten Tomatoes, which, you know, for a long time, you know, people say, duh, they're stupid, duh, Rotten Tomatoes is garbage. Yeah, people do say that, but there's a lot of people that love Rotten Tomatoes and that point to Rotten Tomatoes like, see, blah, blah, blah. And still to this day, people don't understand that there's an audience score like me and you, and then there's a a reviewer score or a Hollywood paid critic score is what I call it. And uh, Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones still sitting at a 17%. It was at a 0%. Until Jeremy Johns, a man with integrity, actually reviewed it himself. And that brought the score from 0 to 17. Jeremy Johns, a uh, well-known uh, YouTube reviewer. At least I think that that's him. He's on there. Uh, somehow he got. he's a person on Rotten Tomatoes that can review things. I don't know how he got that, but he, he has it apparently. But today, something happened. And that something is the people were finally able to vote on the show and give it a score and a rating everybody who has a brain and likes comedy and enjoys comedy obviously loved this special because there's been a few Dave Chappelle specials recently that weren't the best there was there was one recently that was really good his first one back then he had another one that was pretty damn good and then he had one that was kind of like a little bit missy for me, but it was fun that he put something else out there. But it's all good. Dave Chappelle, pretty much everything he does is good. Um, but this one, man, this one killed it. Dave Chappelle killed in so many different ways on this uh, Sticks and Stones special. It's almost unbelievable. The guy wasted nothing. There were, there were scores that were saying he wasted, like he had unfinished jokes and he was just ranting. Like it couldn't be any further from the truth. Almost everything he said had a purpose. And then he tied it in with some kind of joke. It was ridiculous. But there you have it now. The people have spoken. How in the world could all the people think that this was a 99% but the critics gave it a 17% or a 0% if Jeremy Johns had not given it a review? Five reviewers gave it a zero score. Think about that. Five reviewers were giving it a zero score. And this is Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones, but the audience of over 2,688 have now voted, and it is getting a friggin' full-on fresh or get-your-popcorn-ready score or whatever the hell that means. I have no idea what the hell it means. But that's why I do, I do like Rotten Tomatoes in some ways because I know that the people can vote. And when the people vote, that's what I go with. I almost always go with the people's vote over the over the critic score because the critic score is usually bullshit. Like, let's just look at Ghostbusters uh, 2016. Now, it's changed a little bit now, but when Ghostbusters first came out, they were like, oh, this is great. Like, wow, 70%. Like, and, and the people, it's just like, it's ridiculous. Like, they don't know what the hell they're doing here. I mean, they do know what they're doing. It's to, it's to bullshit you. But the rating has come down a little bit. Um, also, Star Wars is another good example. Uh, that was a great example. Again, look at look at Ghostbusters. This tells you right here. L look at this. Look at this score. Seventy four percent rated fresh by the by the reviewers. So the reviewers actually are telling people you've got to see you yeah see, go see Ghostbusters. It's pretty good. Meanwhile, the audience gives it a 50% rating, which basically kind of means, well, this kind of sucks, but oh well. That's 118,000 people giving it a 50% 50, 50 but 371 paid reviewer people from Hollywood are going to give it a 74 So it's absolute bullshit, and it was really because it was the female agenda. Um, you know, And I'm surprised that, that Dave Chappelle's... Uh, Mo uh, the Dave Chappelle Sticks and Stones are is getting a bad rating. It's the fir it's actually groundbreaking, guys, because it's the first time. Isn't Dave Chappelle a protected class? So it's very strange, um, you know, that he's getting getting crapped on for this, and it's only because he attacked or he went after and joked about the LGBTQ uh, 
people because if he hadn't have done that, he would have been fine. And he and he's not going to be fine. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, if I can find Last Jedi. It's probably probably missing. Let me see. Here it is. Here's Last Jedi. Couldn't be any more obvious than this. So Dave Chappelle's stand-up is worth a 0%. Dave Chappelle's new, new stand-up special is a 0%, right, guys? Dave Chappelle, 0%. But Star Wars, The Last Jedi, gets a 91%. Oh, it's so good. It was so good, everybody. Even though the audience says it's a 44%. Even the audience isn't as stupid as the score for the Dave Chappelle uh, sticks and stones from the reviewers. But my God, dude, look at this the discrepancy. It's clear as day. Hollywood has an agenda. If you support women, overly support women, and you make a character that's so over the top, nobody can like her like Ray. Or you can make an all-female Ghostbuster movie with like cunt jokes and queef jokes and shitting and shits on men and shits on people. Then they're going to love it. They're going to give you at least the benefit of the doubt. But if you're somebody like Dave Chappelle, even though he's black from a protected class, if you crap on uh, gay, gay, make any gay jokes or anything like that, they're going to give you a 0%. That's how unfunny and sick and weird that they are. They feel they cannot be joked on. They feel they are special. That they cannot possibly be joked on like the rest of us. Everybody should be joked on because that's what actually does bring us together usually. Everybody is not special. Nobody is special. We're all shitheads. And that's why we can all make fun of each other, no matter if you're straight, gay, black, white, woman, man, whatever. Fat, skinny, regular size, whatever you want. And Dave Chappelle has exposed that these people believe that they are special and that they are above you and me. And that Hollywood has an agenda to push that so that you feel that way. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely disgusting. And I am shocked that in 2019, in 2019, we are dealing with this type of stuff from Hollywood and this extreme left-wing agenda and this movie agenda that they push on all of us. It is very weird, very annoying, very creepy. But obviously the people overall have decided it's also very wrong. And that's why projects like this going forward will fail. Thanks to Dave Chappelle for keeping it real like always. One of the reviewers actually said, um, oh, I guess he really wants to be canceled. He really wants to be canceled. Is this fucking bitch for real? This guy, first episode of The Chappelle Show was about a blind, black, white supremacist. The stuff that he did in the first episode of Chappelle's Show back in the early 2000s was insanely shocking and hilarious. What? This is not a different Dave. This lady acts like, wow, he's really going too far. Really? Have you ever paid attention to Dave Chappelle in the past? You stupid idiot. He's always been like this. He hasn't changed. You have. And here's the other thing about it. Dave Chappelle isn't canceling himself. Oh, he really wants to be canceled. He really wants to cancel. He turned down $50 million and canceled himself back in 2004 for 10 years this motherfucker canceled himself for 10 years he doesn't give a shit pretty sure he got like 50 million dollars for this netflix special by the way or something like that don't know how much he made really but i'm just i mean it could be five million i don't know but either way these people are hilariously weird and I, again, believe that this has to come from the age of the cell phone mixed with the poisons in our food and water. And I guess, like, I, otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. 
I don't know what to tell you. What do you guys think about this? Leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm posting this on both of my channels, Corrupted Nation and Shame on News, to make sure it gets out to everybody. And subscribe to both of those channels if you like. I'm going to go take a dump on somebody. No, I'm just kidding. I gotta, I'm, I'm not really doing that. But subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, uh, like I don't know, babies will get sick or something. I don't know. Go ahead.